Thank you so much for picking me to do this today. Well, it's not a problem, Courtney. You were the only one who applied, so it was a fairly easy decision on our part. Well, you know, I, I hope the ladies are here for me and not for the television. I'm sure they are, Courtney. I'm sure they are, but I'll tell you what, to get started, why don't you just relax? You look a little tense. Roll your shoulders, crack your knuckles, pick your tools, whatever you guys do over here. I'm not sure what you guys do, but just don't pull anything. But um, one thing though, since I've been in this area for a little while now, what are we, what are we supposed to call you? Are we supposed to call you Corny? Uh, supposed to call you Neil? Are we supposed to call you Corny with an I? Like, good, good. what is this? Good you brought that up. You know, I would really, really like to be called Neil, but my, my mom says that's, that's, I'm not mature enough to be Neil yet. <laughs> you know, that, that happens after you're 40. That, it's funny how that happens. Okay, well, Corny. Are you ready to meet the ladies? I am. Um, bring them on. <laughs> We've got five ladies here for you to pick from. We did start with eight. Unfortunately, three of them found boyfriends. But, uh, <laughs> so we got five for you here today. So why don't we pull them out of the limo here one at a time. So what we got here is we've got Anna Newfold. Then we'll have Liz Newfold. Margaret Bloom, Marta Schapansky, and Lane Leiden. <laughs> so I'll get each one of them up here one at a time to uh, tell, them, tell you a little bit about themselves. So why don't we, why don't we start with Anne? Anna, come on up. I'm 50, 51, I'm not quite sure. I was, I was switched at birth. Um, but the really cool thing about me is I'm actually a leap year baby. So really, I'm only 12 and a half years old. <laughs> I, I live in Rosegard with my brother. Um, in summertime, I have a great big garden. And in wintertime, I'm still canning what I harvested. But I'm almost done, wow. so that keeps me busy. Yeah, that sounds like you're pretty busy. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Anna. Thank you. So how about uh, Liz with a Z? Why don't you come on up? Tell us a bit about yourself, Liz. Hi, I'm Liz. And I live half a mile east, oh, west, south of Neuenberg. Oh, I get so confused when I'm trying to explain where I live. You know, I know my directions when I'm looking out my kitchen window. <laughs> I think I'm still in Neuenberg. My driveway is so long. Just give me a minute. Take your time. <laughs> Anyways, I love going for long walks on my driveway. <laughs> I hold beets and onions for crackers. <laughs> I still live with my mom and dad. Hey, hey dad, where do we live again? Party. <laughs> The next lovely lady will be Marge. I hear she likes to be called the right. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Um, it's actually yeah, right, but you know, I really I like to be called Marge now that I turn 40. <laughs> I love it. And well, 
I'm from Fujin's crew, and we just got these new little blue signs for at the end of our driveway. And my number is one, eight, 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 making it easier for you to find me. <laughs> and well, something else about me, I recently got my first computer. It's so exciting. And I don't know though how people know that I have one because I've just been getting these phone calls left and right, everyone calling me. They they tell me I have a virus, go my computer. I laughed at them, I said, I'm not sick. <laughs> I don't have a virus. So eventually they didn't seem to get it, so I just hung up. But you know, I still live with my mom and dad because I have it way too good at home. Um, my mom's friends, I tell her to stop cooking with cheese, but I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I think she's the one who nominated me to come on here. <laughs> so you snapped chat too and all that? Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. Okay. Next up we'll have Marta. Marge, you can leave now. You've had your time to shine. Thank you. <laughs> leave that with me. Expectations here. I got it at Style Right 27 years ago. <laughs> I thought it was a great way to show you that I'm ready for this marriage thing. Man. <laughs> so you're, uh, you think you're gonna get picked here, I guess? Well, I'm hoping. I hope it's not too much. <laughs> I think it's okay. I think it's good. Okay, well, if that's the end of your uh, introduction here, do you have anything else you want to share with Courtney? I'm Marta. <laughs> I know, he already said that. Uh, Courtney, do you want to know who I am or not? <laughs> My name is Marta. You messed me up. I'm just going to start from the beginning. My name is Marta, and I'm smarter than the other girls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Hopefelt, and I've been there for 47 years. I guess that makes me 47. And, uh, yeah. It didn't bother me to turn 40 either. Just wait till you're 47. <laughs> and it's not whole felt, it's whole felt great. Yeah, we're working with that accent. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Lastly, but not least, Lion. <laughs> Chips. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lang. Hi, Lang. Hi. Thank you for picking me up in the limo. That was so nice. And thank you for letting me be last. Not a extra, problem. I got extra snacks. <laughs> I can see that. They're for later. <laughs> anyway, I am Lang, and I'm 52. I live not in one of the villages around here. I come from the 1 6 district. And I don't know if you know this, but I love cats. Oh, but do I love cats? I have 72 cats. <laughs> and I have gotten a GoFundMe page for my cats because it, it is expensive, you know, to feed them. So, you know, people are so generous. They are so generous. They gave me, the first month, it was $800 and now my cats are nice and chubby. And uh, yeah, so I just figured I would let you know about my cats and my snacks. <laughs> um, and I will see you later, I hope. So that, that was a nice story. Thank uh, you. Know, I'll send you some cats. <laughs> well, thank you, I'll take them. All right, I'll leave it at that then. Okay, Forty, there you have it. Now that you know all about them, you have your work cut out for you. Now we gotta ask all these ladies to come back. Now it's your turn to share with them some of your life story to these lovely ladies. Ladies, come on up. <coughs> yep. Very good.
I don't know if I want to touch your dress. Okay, Courtney, why don't you tell these lovely ladies something about yourself? Well, I live on my own. Right next door to my mom. I have a pretty handy. You know, she, uh, I go for her place for lunch. I go to her place for supper. I go to her place for breakfast. You know, if mom's still up, I go for night snack too. You know, and she does my laundry. And she cleans my house and gives me these wonderful haircuts. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> I'm looking for a woman just like my mom. I don't know. If I say no, I probably blew it, right? 
Well, I guess I have no choice. That'd be fine. <laughs> you would all be fine with that? Yeah. yeah. I mean, as long as, you know, she doesn't sit between us at the restaurant or in the car. She could sit, I, I don't know, like the truck box in the trunk, right? <laughs> sorry, 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 ladies. Sorry, Corny. It is now time. You all know each other, I think, more than you'd like to know each other. <laughs> uh, you've got some pickles and some schmorfat. This is for you. One of these la lucky ladies here, we're just going to leave with a bouquet tonight for your lucky date. So it's, the decision's up to you now, Corny. Uh, I'll, I'll need to think about it. I'll be right back. Okay, don't be too long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, we never even got a chance. This show is just an hour long, and it's just not nearly long enough. I look at it as exposure. <laughs> I called my mom. <laughs> she didn't have an answer either. But would you? <laughs> there we have it. Sorry, ladies. Your time here is up. I'm glad you accepted the challenge of, I mean, going on a date with my mom. Oh, yeah, that'll be great. Okay, you call me. Email me. I'll tweet and Twitter you. <laughs> Good luck, Courtney. Good night to you all. Good night. For our next episode of After the Bouquet, Women Tell All. <laughs> and before I leave, one last word of advice. May your dates be without your mother. <laughs> uh, since the last time we met, our uh, Mennonite bachelor, I'm hoping he went on his date. Uh, and he had a long time to think. So, you know what, why don't we call him back up here and let's hear it straight from Corny. Welcome back, Corny. Well, Corny, how have you been? Oh, I've been doing great. Couldn't be better. Since the show, I've moved back home to my mom's. <laughs> back. Yeah, she now lives in the basement. I got the master bedroom. <laughs> I, I decided it was better for her. Seems, uh, you know, she's getting older. She was getting tired, so then I offered to move back home. Um, I think she's, she likes having me back home. She can, she can make bigger meals now, uh, more often, and she doesn't have to bring it to my house. And I'm all right there. I'm, I'm right there, you know. I think, I think my mom will get here on time. I think she's coming to the show tonight. Uh, if she gets the laundry done. Uh, she almost made me late, but uh, she's in good shape, but finds it hard to travel. Wow, Courtney. That does not sound like you took any steps forward. In fact, it sounds like you took a step back. No, 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 no. Hey, no, no. You, you, you get this wrong. Uh, I used to be a few steps out the door, and, and my mother already cleaned up the shrubs last year, so that I could have a shortcut. But corny, seriously. Last time it sounded to me like you were ready today. 
It really did. I, I had a lot of hope for you. Well, now, it sounds like you don't even want to. Well, I, I want to be. I think. <laughs> uh, I did have a good date with Margaret. Okay. Until I called her Margaret one too many times. <laughs> I asked her, uh, you know, she, she, she really got irritated with me. Uh, you know, I asked her to take turns paying. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't like that either, apparently. Corny, corny. You know, I've called her a few times, but she's always busy. No way. Anyway, well, Courtney, are you ready to meet the ladies? You mean they came back? <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Well. All right. Why don't we get the ladies back on stage here? Come on up. Some of you look very different. <laughs> okay, Liz, <laughs> is that really you? No, I'm Sally. Liz couldn't make it, and well, Marta didn't want to come back, so when I heard there's free phosphor, I said, oh, but you're all confused. <laughs> <laughs> or was Liz just confused she couldn't find her way up the driveway? <laughs> Anyone seen or heard from Light? Oh, yeah, I did. Uh, last I heard, she was uh, going to be on an episode of Hoarders. Who's <laughs> <laughs> one of the that show? Well, probably too many cats. Uh, I think she's not too happy. Well, I sure hope you guys came here with some questions for Courtney. So, who wants to start here? Who wants to start the questions for Courtney? Yeah, I can. Go um, ahead. Okay. All I want to know is why you didn't like my pickles. I, I didn't say they were bad. I just said they were like my mom. I brought you her recipe. <laughs> Sally, how's Marta doing? You know, Marta will be okay. She's just a clean bit angry. <laughs> okay. I gather she didn't like me saying Hulk felt. No, she didn't like that at all. So, Marge, I have to ask you, and everybody here is wondering, how was this date with Cordy? Sorry, with Cordy or with his mom? <laughs> <laughs> I had to drive all the way out to yacht seat, and then when I get there, he says, can we take your car? It's warmer. I was like, <laughs> so he, he could see what I thought of that by the way that I looked at him. So then he said, fine, we'll take my mom's car, but we need to wait forever for her, and then guess where I had to sit? The back seat. <laughs> Okay, so that's how you got there, but please tell us where Mr. Romance over here took you. Well, he asked me where I want to go, and I said toppers. And then we ended up going to Dairy Queen, probably for that six dollar meal. <laughs> so my question is not for him, because my question is to you, Chris, how much money do you give for these dates? Well, I can tell you this much. It would be enough for a few meals at Dairy Queen. But it eats Knipa. Now you're just gonna give your mom the extra. Take her to Dairy Queen. Eats Knipa? Like a stingy bug? Exactly. 
Bachelorette at this time, so why don't we do that? It is my privilege today to announce the bachelorette is going to the bachelorette is going to be Sally. <gasps> Sally's our bachelorette. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just got a text here from the director. Sorry, Sally. <laughs> it's March. March is our bachelorette! We'll see you all in spring. Can I be a contestant? Absolutely not. 